So, Ed, to jump in here, I mean, yeah. this tells me that those of us who have decided if this day ever comes, we're going to act. That means we've got to be switched on so quickly that from the moment of just nothing going on to literally be able to go into that defensive life mode, that's a very, very fast uh, decision that leads to action, which means you got to pre-think through the decisions ahead of time and make that kind of right with your soul and your God way, way ahead of time. Yep. You, you got to make sure you're okay with it. But um, when I do my live fire training as again, I've never been in an active shooter scenario or, or a real life to shoot attack, but as I've mentally rehearsed it, war gamed it, researched it, I think it'll be terrifying and stressful, but I think it'll be extremely simple. There, there's one person in a public place shooting a gun at people. I think that's going to stand out. Now, what I tell my students, what I think it's going to be, if, if it doesn't start within my vision, I think it's going to be very confusing and, and stressful until I find him. When it was, we call it clutter. Clutter is everything your brain has to process that's not the shooter. Every person, every piece of furniture, every sound, every smell, as your, your brain's processing it, it's deselection. I think as I'm moving towards the evidence, the sounds, the screams, whatever, I'm not the problem, not the problem, not the problem, not the problem. I'm decent. And then problem. And I think once I find a guy in a public place shooting people, I think that'll be pretty easy. But yeah, you need to make the decision um, if you're going to fight or not. And it, it may might be the right might decision for any individual. And we'll get to that later. Everybody doesn't have to fight, but somebody has to fight. 